And hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 of the Arsenal Let's Play season here on the channel. This is Makeshift here and this is the No Transfer Challenge. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, go give them a look and you'll see exactly what's been happening. Now, moving ahead. <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. But moving ahead on to looking to see what we actually have done since the last episode, episode 7. We played Newcastle in the first game of the season. And as you can probably see, we're on the 31st of December. So... Yeah, I've kind of went ahead quite a lot since the last episode. I'm going to try and keep that the theme for this series, is to get through as many seasons as possible so you guys can see the youth players that actually come into the squad. I think that would be the best idea for the series. So if you are enjoying it so far, drop a like and let us know what you're enjoying about it. If not, then, yeah, don't be mean. <laughs> but we're going to have a look to see what we have actually done since the last game. Obviously, being the Newcastle game is absolutely ages away. We'll take a look to have a look at the one or two that kind of great performances we've maybe had since the that kind of win early on at the start of the season and we after won that game we actually went on and done not too bad against Derby I mean a 4-0 we then lost a 4-3 to Leicester and at this point I was like ah oh, it's going to be a second season syndrome here at Arsenal then a 2 all result against Villa a 2 all result against Feyenoord and I just kept going on like that and then we went on this incredible run of form I mean look at all those green wins it's fantastic it really is but we'll look at this game in particular, the Man City game. We, we won 4-2. Let's take a look at the goals in this game. <clears throat> One of the better games actually we've played. Alexis Sanchez with the free kick, with the goal. You can't really complain with a free kick goal with Alexis Sanchez, can you? And uh, yeah, that sets us up really nicely for the start of the game. Now, I believe um, this was a quite a difficult game for us in terms of being silver on the ball back to Tory. Tory managing to kind of hold off number 7 and puts it in the back of the net to make it 1-0. Then Gibbs down the left-hand side into Alexis Sanchez and Ozil. Sanchez plays a nice, I think it was a back heel to, to Gibbs. And Chambers, of all players, at the near post just runs in and grabs himself a lovely goal. Then that made it, I think, 2, or maybe, yeah, 2-1. Later on in the half, it went, I believe, I mean, what an absolute finish and what a strike from Fernandinho. That's just incredible. Next goal, penalty, Mesut Ozil. It's in the back of the net, 3-2. And then the last goal of the game, Silva. Misses out the kind of header. It's going to be cleared by, by Gabriel into Gibbs. Nice pass in there at the left-hand side into Meza Ozil. Ozil with a nice ball through to Akpom. And that's one of the stars of the season, guys. We've brought him through from the youth. And as well as uh, Serge Gnabry as well, who've been ever-present in the squad so far. But, you know, that's kind of the main highlight in the main kind of game this season. We are sitting second, uh, equal on points with Chelsea, but they have a better goal difference. Our top scorer is again still Danny Welbeck, a continuation of his form from last season. He's performing really, really well. As you can see, his stats are improving. He's got 11 goals this season so far and 17 appearances. I'm quite happy with that so far. And he's actually got 17 goals overall. But looking at the squad in general, I mean, it is pretty badass, to be honest. We have some fairly gay injuries just now. I mean, Nabry's going to be out for five months with a broken leg, which he picked up. And, you know, that's just a shame. And there's the stats so far. He is improving an awful lot with us. And he's now a three-star current ability and four-star potential, which is great. And he's had an absolutely insane season, man. Three goals and six assists from 14 games. I can't really complain about that. I mean, there are some players who are missing out on game time. But I can't play everyone. And that's the main problem. I'm going to have to try and see if I can sell some players next season. And uh, reduce the squad size just a little bit. So we can get some of these younger players into the squad and get them game time. Now... In terms of the rest of the players this season, everyone's kind of doing really, really well. Um, Akpom is improving, there we go. Is He's really quick on the ball and he, has, he is scoring quite a few goals. <coughs> uh, six goals in ten league games, you can't really complain at that. And in the Champions League, we're doing really well too. We, I believe, did finish top of our group, which was fantastic. Well, if you have a look at the stages just now, we did actually, well, my God, we got Barcelona in the first round of the knockouts. I mean, how unfortunate is that? But in comparison to last season, we put Barcelona out at this stage. Well, not this stage, but in the groups, we put them out into Europa. So, yeah, they're going to be able to get a bit of uh, re <laughs> revenge, I can imagine. But the team is going pretty well. I'm really happy with how things are going. The players we've loaned out, everyone seems to be doing very, very well. And this player here, Chris Wilcock, is looking pretty um, sweet. 18 years of age, good potential. He'll probably make it in the team next season, hopefully. He'll maybe replace a few players here and there. And I think his brother, is that Joe's brother? He's doing okay too, but he's terrible. He won't make it in the team at all. And a few other players are actually doing pretty damn good. Joe Campbell on loan, Everton's having a good season. Oh well, 6.7, but I say a good season. I'm just looking at that just now. He's, he's actually dropping quite a lot, which is a shame. But never mind. We'll jump into this game just now against Southampton at home. Hopefully if we come away with a result, that's really good. And we'll maybe come back, like I did for the last season. 
we'll come back for the kind of the special episodes in the capped one overall performances, the FA Cup, the Champions League, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'm not too bored of it, um, Arteta. He's not going to feature much for us at this point in the save. But I'm quite happy with that lineup so far. Everything seems to be as it is. Walcott's not having the best of seasons. He's barely played for us at all, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But you know what? We need to play other players, and it's just unfortunate he's one of the players that hasn't performed well. We'll jump into the game against Southampton. If we do win this, it'll be pretty good. Hopefully Chelsea don't do too well. We'd like to try and keep up the pressure on them, but we've already lost two games this season. We've drawn around four, so our form this season isn't as great as last season, but every team's the same. It's very, very tight too, which is pretty cool. It's going to be quite an interesting um, end to the season, and if we can come away with two consecutive Premier League victories without signing a single player, I think we're doing pretty well, and there's not too much problems with squad harmony, it seems to be quite high. Our wages are looking incredible, we're only spending like 100 million a season, which is around 40 million behind Manchester United, which is great. And I think, Stan, yeah, we're doing we're doing really well. I'm really happy with how things have been playing out. Bedellin's improved tremendously over the course of the season, and so is the rest of the team, to be honest. They aren't always improving, which is good to see, and it kind of proves the point. You don't need to sign players when your players are always improving, because it is a young squad. Nice bond from... Oh, it's a good save by Forster at the back. Going to be a corner in from Meza Ozil. Ozil whips in the corner, and it's away yet again. It's a shame. Gibbs on the ball. Ah, it's away for another highlight. Never mind. But you know, there's been quite a lot of different videos appearing on the channel recently. There's a few Rocket League, uh, Rocket League videos with a few of my friends. If that is something that interests you, there'll be more of that coming up um, as the as the weeks go on. If they can get them available, they'll come on and play a wee, a wee game or two with us. They're, they're kind of crazy, to be honest, my, my pals. So no, it's good to get them involved in them. Kind of, I'm quite pleased that they've decided to kind of get involved with me. It's good. I'm really enjoying it so far. And I'm enjoying my return to YouTube, to be honest. Um, Last week in particular was the best week for the channel. We got up 40 subscribers, so thank you very much guys. We're up 40 subscribers since we started recording again. And we're up to nearly like 1,200 views, which is just really, really good. And the feedback, the overall feedback I've been getting is that it's around 95% good and 5% negative. So, do you know what? If I just keep going the way I'm going, I mean, those are pretty good stats. I mean, there's a nice goal by us at the near post. Great finish, to be honest. And Gibbs with the assist. So we're actually 2 0 up at the moment. Can't really complain about that, to be honest. Really happy with that goal. And if we can come away with the result here, that'd be great. Now, what I have been doing this season, I've been, actually, I've been rotating the squad as much as I possibly can so that every player is getting game time. But again, players are still, are some, um, I can't even talk today. Players are still coming through to me saying that they're pretty disappointed with the lack of game time, but I can't, I can't do it for everyone. So, like I said, we will have to make some changes next season. And we'll maybe look to sell on two or three players and bring in a couple of young players again for the bench. And I think that's how we're going to have to do it. Maybe get rid of some of the older players in the team. But as much as I don't want to do that, it will only be players who are not featuring at all. Um, the likes of Jack Wilshire, players like that, they're all going to be staying with the club because we do need them. And they do play when, when they're needed. But you know, players like Flamini, Arteta, Giroud's probably going to go next season for me because I've got Akpom and he's been phenomenal for us. So... We have Giroud's replacement, and Wilshire there, like I said, I mean, I can't drop Wilshire at all much this season, and he had been complaining about game time a lot, because he's only coming in every now and then, but when he does come in, do you know what, he's doing pretty damn good, to be honest, and he gets himself a goal, so that's pretty pretty solid. So we're coming up really to 20 minutes ago, make a couple of substitutions here. You bring on Akpom for Welbeck, and Cazola, who's been really complaining, so maybe Cazola will leave next season, <coughs> because Nabry will be back, he's younger. He's probably going to be better than him. And we'll save a lot of wages as well. But you know what? Like I said, I can't please everyone. As we come away with a fourth goal, nice assist from Cazola. And it, it's kind of it's performances like that from Cazola that kind of annoy me because I'm looking to just kind of punt him on and sell him forward. Um, he's not going to feature him as much in the team because of the players we've got in his position are just a lot, little bit better. But he comes in he does pretty well for us, which is a bit of a shame. Cazola on the ball, back to Ramsey. Ramsey holding the ball nicely and he's missed out to Bertrand. Poor pass. As uh, Pele will get on the ball. What's he going to do with it? Holds it on. Nice ball down to Bertrand yet again. Inside to, and it's good passing here by Southampton. Long ball up to... Oh, Akapak Pro. Jesus Christ. I <laughs> got that name right. And it's a shot, but it's just wide. I'll take that. There's not much long of the game to go, to be honest. And um, what we will do is we'll be looking to get a few episodes of the Watford season out over the next uh, week or two. Because we're coming up to the end of season two. And you know what that means? We have the giveaway. The giveaways happen for payday too. All you need to do to be part of this giveaway is just to be a subscriber on the channel and to be commenting on the videos. That's pretty much it, guys. That's what I'm looking for. 
as uh, Gabriel just doesn't manage to get the ball. But yeah, if you weren't aware of the, of the, the kind of giveaway I've got for Payday 2 on Steam, then go look at Watford episode 8 and you'll find out more about it, or even watch the giveaway video that I put up. And uh, that's the end of the episode, guys. I mean, we've come away with a 4-0 result against Southampton. I'm really happy with that performance. The team played phenomenal. Done really well in terms of the stats, kind of dominated. We are top of the league now with three points clear. One goal difference ahead of Chelsea, so it's really, really tight. And we'll have a look at the league just now before we finish. There's the league. It is very tight. Between myself and probably Tottenham, there's not many points separating us. And if the four teams below me manage to win the next game, do you know what? It's going to be a very tight and very fun end to the season. So look, I hope you're all enjoying the season so far. If you are, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.